Hi everybody! Welcome to your weekly dose at home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we are meeting Canada's most endangered mammal. Can you guess who it is? Polar bears? Orcas? Caribou? You have to think a little bit smaller. Meet the Vancouver Island Marmot. This is Canada's most endangered mammal. And in 2003, we were down to 30 individuals left in the wild on the planet. Since then, the Calgary Zoo has been part of innovative conservation breeding and reintroduction programs to restore this iconic Canadian species. However, there are some things that we have to consider when it goes into conservation breeding. So today on our weekly dose at home, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into this conservation breeding program and learn just what it takes to help save these incredibly cute furry brown rodents. In order for a conservation breeding program to be successful, we need to understand a little bit more about what has happened to that species. Because the population of Vancouver Island marmots had gotten so small, it's experienced what could be called a lack of genetic diversity or a genetic bottleneck. What does that mean? When a population is large and lots of different individuals are mating and producing offspring, we can say that that population is genetically diverse. We'll see different gene mutations happen in that population that lead to things like adaptations that are helpful for survival, or new traits that make that species more resistant to things like drought or climate change, or even have different anti-predation strategies. When a population gets really small, and a smaller number of individuals are breeding together, it goes through something called a bottleneck, and that can make that population a lot less adaptable and a lot less resistant. So it's not that great to have a population get down to a number like 30, like Vancouver Island Marmots. Today, we're gonna to explore a really innovative conservation technique that our teams here at the Calgary Zoo and the Devonian Wildlife Conservation Center use to maximize the genetic diversity with the marmots that are part of the breeding program. Calgary Zoo first started breeding Vancouver Island marmots in 1998, and those first few years involved a lot of learning for our research teams. One of the things we learned about marmots is they're really picky about who they mate with, which is understandable. But when you're trying to maximize genetic diversity, we need to be really intentional about who's mating with who. So our teams had to be creative. Now, one of the things that we know about marmots is that they are a true hibernator. In the wintertime, when they go to sleep, they don't really wake up until the spring and the daylight gets a little bit longer, things start getting a bit warmer because that's when there's food availability. So knowing that about marmots, knowing that they're picky, we put our thinking caps on. And this is where Operations Strange Bedfellows came in. That's the term that our animal care teams at the Devonian Wildlife Conservation Center came up to help describe the a little bit of help that we give the marmots in choosing the right mate. So look at these marmots in front of me. If I, as an animal care team member, knew that these two marmots are a better match than maybe these two marmots are, I can be creative during hibernation. So if every one of these marmots is fast asleep during hibernation, I can actually come in in the winter time and do a little bit of a vet check, see how they're doing, maybe give a weight, put them on a scale, then, as it gets closer to spring, the marmots start to wake up, they get a little bit groggy, and here's where Operation Strange Bedfellows comes in. The animal care teams can put that male and female marmot together in those later stages of hibernation. And then, when the spring comes, they will wake up together. Now, when a marmot first wakes up from winter sleep, what's the first thing they want to do? Have babies with a new mate. So when the male and female are already together, life is perfect. I'm gonna mate with the mate who's right here and hopefully have some Vancouver Island marmot pups. This technique helps us maximize the success of the conservation breeding program. And this year we had an incredible 17 Vancouver Island marmot pups born to this conservation program. Thank you so much for tuning into this edition of the Weekly Dose at Home. You can click on the activity PDF for a marmot puzzle that you can color and cut out and then see if you can put together. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.